Okay, so um, when reading the Barcelona Manifesto, um, it says in one of the paragraphs that um, in in context, it's talking about Morocco and um, what Prima de Rivera is, you know, talking about. But it says, we wish to live in peace with all peoples. We are not imperialists, nor do we hold that upon a stubborn insistence in Morocco depends the honor of the army. We seek for the Moroccan problem, a solution that will be prompt, worthy, and reasonable. When he says we're not imperialists, like, is he really talking about, like, him as a Catalonian? Or is he really talking about him as a Spaniard? Because by him saying that, it just kind of, like, throws away all of what Spain has done, pretty much, in um, the Americas and the Antilles. I mean, it, like, they've shown, like, their regret, or not really regret, but more of their acknowledgement that it was wrong, but... You know, by him saying we're not imperialists, it just kind of throws away um, their acknowledgement of what they did. So, yeah. And adding on to the kind of erasure of their colonial past, um, it's under the directives when he says about um, implementing military law and essentially martial law in um in like parts of the country that's just kind of it's kind of like self-imperialism i guess like yeah it's your country but you know you're you're exerting your military power over your own people so i don't get how he he thinks he's not an imperialist but he's even imperializing in a way like people who are already part of the country and later on in the directives when he's talking about um it says we have not conspired we have in broad daylight championed the aspirations of the people and have given them something in the way of organization in order to direct them towards a patriotic end devoid of ambitions To me, that just doesn't make sense, because if he has to implement martial law, then how how can you, how have you championed the aspirations of the people if you have to implement martial law in order to gain some sort of control over them? And lastly, it says, although we may come into being uh, through an act of technical indiscipline, we do represent that true discipline, which is due our p principles and love of our country. So, he's pretty much just, like, admitting that the ends justify the means. And later in that paragraph, he says, So, and so we shall conceive, practice, and require discipline, not forgetting that since we are not moved by ambition, but by the spirit of sacrifice, ours is the highest authority. So, um, you know, he's pretty much saying that, like, um, They'll have to, through their mandated means and ways, that they'll be able to achieve this um, state that he desires. But you can't really do that if you have to force your power over a group of people.